ball comes in, it's dangerous and uh, well flicked away there. I think it was uh, Matt Monison got his head to it. Once again back in. Butler must get there. He hasn't got there. Bit of danger here and scrambling away and a bit of uncertainty there. Ball comes through. Could have gone anywhere. It's still not clear. And it's, oh, it's one in there at the end of the... Crept in the back there and that was the danger. Halifax not clearing the lines there. They did get a little bit sloppy. And unfortunately, Lee Butler, when he came for that, he did have to really make the ball. And uh, the supporters from Somerset, they have something to cheer about. And there's certainly signal there in the second half of Yeovil. And the throw in, well won there in the air. A bit more accuracy with these balls now. Nice play here by Yeovil again, breaking. And very, very quick here. Very quick. And that's number two. And, uh, well, it was a good break. And they were just too quick then for Halifax. Poor defending, to be fair, but um, the head seems to have gone down a bit now and uh, wondering what uh, Yeovil have done to turn it around. Basically, they've just picked up the pace, a lot quicker, a lot more accuracy, and uh, a good finish, to be fair, Ian. And, uh, we've had nearly two minutes of it at a time now. Oh, no, he's laid through, and it's going to be a disaster here, and it's going to be... A oh, well... A bundle there between Adam Quinn and Lee Butler... And uh, the Oval players have actually gone over to the Halifax then to taunt them. The referees stepped between them. And uh, I'm sure there'll be something said about that to the FA in the referees' report.